SpaceX, a company co-founded by Elon Musk, has made significant advancement in space exploration and is known for being the first private company to send astronauts to the International Space Station. Additionally, Musk company Neuralink is working on brain-computer interfaces to potentially enhance human-machine interaction. Despite the dangers of explosions and human deaths that he has caused, Elon isn't scared and he's not advocating for more regulations. Is Elon really scared of open AI? Is there a deeper, darker secret he is hiding? Could it be Google's deep mind or open AI's woke and spreading disinformation? To find out why, let's go back to 2015 when Elon helped co-founded OpenAI with Sam Altman, an American entrepreneur, investor, and programmer. He was the co-founder of Loop and is the current CEO of OpenAI. Greg Brockman is an American entrepreneur, investor, and software developer who is a co-founder and currently the president of OpenAI. He began his career at Stripe in 2010 upon leaving MIT and became their CTO. The most important person that Elon recruited was Ilya Satskiver. He was the key scientist and was the linchpin for OpenAI to be the hottest company overnight. When the right people were in place, Elon picked the name of the company to be called OpenAI because of his worries that AI could pose a significant threat to him humanity if not properly regulated and controlled. His concern revolves around the potential for AI to surpass human intelligence and become uncontrollable, leading to unintended consequences or misuse. He has likened the potential risk of AI to summoning the demon and warned about the need to, to proactively address these challenges. By co-founding OpenAI, Elon Musk aims to support, promote the development of AI technologies in ways that are safe, beneficial, and aligned with human values. OpenAI's mission has been to ensure that artificial intelligence, AGI, benefits all of the humanity and avoids harmful application. Elon being on the board, he donated 50 million. Some people say it was 100 million because he thought everyone had the same goals as him for the company, having it open source and to the public. When things got underway in 2016, OpenAI released a public beta of OpenAI Gym. It was a platform for reinforcement learning research. In 2017, OpenAI spent 7.9 million, a quarter of its functional expenses on cloud computing alone. DeepMind, which is owned by Google, had 442 million in expenses in that same year. OpenAI trained Dota 2 bots to beat the world champions. I can hear you now, Dendi. We can talk. Okay, I give up. You giving up? Yeah, I, I don't think I'm getting it back. Greg, is that something so other players have done as well? GG. I've seen this quite a lot this week. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do? Like best two out of five, or you're out of here? But would require renting 128,000 CPUs and 256 GPUs from Google for multiple weeks. And this cost him a lot of money. Elon saw that OpenAI wasn't making much progress and was falling behind Google's deep mind. So he tried to take over OpenAI himself like he did Twitter. The board at OpenAI declined for his takeover. So he decided to step down, but he wanted to remain a donor, but he never did again. This is what Sam Altman said about Elon. Elon said he resigned from the board seat in 2018 due to a potential future conflict of interest with his role of CEO of Tesla due to Tesla's AI development for self-driving cars. Before Elon left, he poached Andres Kaparthi from OpenAI to Tesla to be the director of his artificial intelligence and he's one of the top in the field. After Elon stepped down to focus more on his other businesses, OpenAI transitioned from non-profit to cap for profit, with profit capped at 100 times any investment. This allowed for OpenAI to garner investment from venture funds and grant employees stakes in the company. Now, many top researchers from Google, Facebook, and Amazon would join, knowing there's going to be a lot of money to make and stock options. Now, the company isn't legally required to disclose employees' compensation. The company then gave equity to its employees and partnered with Microsoft, a $2.5 trillion company. Microsoft then announced its plan to spend $1 billion in five years and possibly much faster. When ChatGPT 3.5 launched on November 30th, 2022 by OpenAI, it received widespread media coverage after launching for after launching a free preview of the chat. The preview received over a million sign up within the first five days. According to an anonymous source cited by Rudders in December 2022, OpenAI was projected to do 200 million in revenue in 2023 and 1 billion by 2024. Currently, the company is valued at $29 billion. Microsoft invested $10 billion in OpenAI. Rumors say Microsoft may have received 75% of OpenAI's profits until it secures investment returns and 49% stake in the company. With how fast OpenAI is growing at an unregulated pace, Elon has spoken up. He said, I think we need to regulate AI safety. He said, I think we need to regulate AI safety. Frankly, Musk said, 
It is, I think, actually a bigger risk to society than cars or planes or medicine. Regulation may slow down AI a little bit, but I think that might also be a good thing, Musk added. The billionaire has long warned of the perils of unfettered AI development. He once said artificial intelligence is far more dangerous than nuclear warheads. His words have more gravity today as the rise of ChatGPT threatens to upend the job market with more advanced human-like writing. Even Sam Altman, the CEO, and Ilya Sutskever posted recommendations for governance of superintelligence AI. The reason they spoke to Congress is because they know Elon is trying to get the government to slow AI down, getting in front of him showing their hand but not their true intentions and cards. But also that it creates serious risks we have to work together to manage. We're here because people love this technology. We think it can be a printing press moment. We have to work together to make it so. OpenAI is an unusual company, and we set it up that way because AI is an unusual technology. We are governed by a nonprofit, and our activities are driven by our mission and our charter, which commit us to working to ensure that the broad distribution of the benefits of AI and to maximizing the safety of AI systems. Just making the government feel like they're in control, but in reality, OpenAI is. As long as the government gets their taxes and OpenAI lobbies for laws and regulations, the government will leave AI alone. Plus, this will attract more investors and the fact that OpenAI ChatGPT is so confident they themselves think they need a help to minimize the damage they may cause to the public. OpenAI wrote a 800 blog post titled Governance of Superintelligence, where they outlined the superintelligence future of AI is more capable than AGI. It was written by Sam Altman, Ilya Suskiver, and Greg Brockman. Pretty much they want referees to watch everyone play to keep the playing field leveled, and those referees will report back to the government. These referees will also prevent Google from advancing too fast, as well as Elon. But the government doesn't really understand AI at the moment, so in reality they can't do much. This is like the early stage of the World Wide Web, and the big AI companies know it. The fact OpenAI is trolling Elon is insane, but Elon knows OpenAI is dangerous and can pose a risk to society. But in reality, Elon just wants to slow Google and OpenAI down as he created his own AI company, XAI Corp. He said he created his AI company in order to understand the true nature of the universe and to maximize truth seeking. In April, he said he launched Truth GPT after criticizing the popular AI text chatbot GPT for being woke. He said the dangers are the fact anyone can train the AI to be deceptive and to really feed the user answers to lean to the left wing or bend them to their will without them knowing. He even tweeted this. Once Musk found out ChatGPT was using Twitter data for nearly $2 million a year in December, Musk cut them off because he said the number was way too low. Musk, along with many other tech leaders, signed an open letter written by the Future of Life Institute that called for the pause on technology like ChatGPT that can mimic human behavior and intelligence. The letter stated, Contemporary AI systems are now becoming human competitive at general tasks, and we must ask ourselves, should we let machines flood our information channels with propaganda and untruth? Musk has also claimed that Microsoft, an investor in the company, has too much control over OpenAI. According to Musk, the company has rights to all the software model weights, which he believes is a real issue, especially if ChatGPT creates some of the digital superintelligence technology. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has denied Musk's assertions and said Microsoft owns a non-controlling interest. One of Musk's primary concerns about OpenAI and its artificial intelligence product, ChatGPT, is that the company did not prioritize the safe development of the technology. There are many reasons why people are concerned about the generative AI technology. For one, there's a real question about what guardrails are in place to prevent ChatGPT from producing harmful content that is used to commit fraud, gather data, generate code that could be used by hackers or people with ill intent. The incredible capabilities of ChatGPT are expected to lead the automation of many jobs, potentially as many as 300 million according to economists at Goldman Sachs. AI can make deep fakes synthetic content as AI language models advance, there is a risk of using AI generated text in combination with other AI tools to create highly realistic deepfakes and synthetic content leading to misinformation and deception, manipulation. Language models like ChatGPT can be used to craft persuasive messages to manipulate individuals or spread disinformation for nefarious purposes. ChatGPT can minimize stored parts of the conversation within its parameters, raising potential privacy concerns if sensitive or personal information is shared. ChatGPT can generate text based on the data it has been trained on, and if the training data contains biases or misinformation, the model may inadvertently pr propagate those biases to produce false information. The dangers of unregulated AI are endless. Maybe Elon is right to be scared, or do you think he just wants to slow everyone down so he can catch up and control AI and be in the lead? Let us know what you think below. Drop a like and subscribe, guys. Have a good one.